The simplest apps are earning $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 a month in profit. And I'm tired of watching these apps that only take a day to make, make more than my software engineer salary. I coded for 10 years to land a software engineering gig. And these people out here making $1 million building an app in one day and blows my mind. So today I decided to use AI to build a simple viral AI app that will hopefully make me as much money as Cal AI or Riz GPT. We're talking millions. I want you to break down the exact blueprint I followed every single step so you guys can follow along and hopefully build your viral app as well. So the first thing we got to figure out is which AI app builder will we be using because there's so many. Lovable is one of the leading ones and I myself have made entire apps with it but there's another one that you probably don't know about. It's called Uwear. I used it once on my channel before and I got all overwhelmingly positive responses. So I decided to partner up with you where who's also today's sponsor to build my AI app using their new AI app tool. Okay, so we have access to you and we can see their entire community and see the different games you have created productivity tools, presentations, landing pages, we can get inspiration for virtually anything using this community tab. Um, so one thing that you know, we what we really care about is AI apps, because that's what we're trying to replicate is our own AI app. So let's go through and look at the various projects that they have and let's try to basically figure out what is a project that we want to emulate what's something that we want to use as our template so a lot of different examples uh let me go ahead and okay, let's start with let's try the the um, ai piano this has a lot of views 2400 views so it looks like there's a lot of leg room here happy birthday of course processing okay so let's play I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it's playing happy birthday, which is pretty cool. Mm, nice. That she is playing the song happy birthday. Okay. So it's like a little music app. That's it's cool. Not exactly what we're looking for to, you know, really copy off of, but let's see what else there is there. What, what else there is upload. This has 12,000 views. So this is one other cool thing. You can literally see how many views these apps have, right? So upload an image here. Um, here picture of me coding. Let's, let's, uh, let's give me a cyberpunk for our transformation. This is kind of cool. I like this. It's like, you just simply just get an image of yourself, right? You put it into this tool and you can see what you will look like in a different version, animated anime, uh, cyberpunk, old age. Yo, this is cool. Look at me. I look pretty hot. Yeah, I look, I look cool, man. This is actually really cool. And you can, you can down the results. Wow. I actually like this idea of getting an image, submitting it, and turn you into a different version of yourself. Yeah, you can download the results. Very cool. I like this a lot. Okay, so this is like a, that's a top contender right there. Let's see what else they got. Um, birthday card generator. Ah, uh, here, let's do this. Check this out. Okay, so it looks like write your birthday wishes here. Happy birthday to my girlfriend, Madison Beer. If you guys know who Madison Beer is, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying. AI enhance. Okay, so I guess it's Jim Madison. Oh, it's a nice poem. I see. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's nice, very nice and simple. In fact, this, this is like a very simple micro SaaS that people will actually spend money on. Like I can see people will spend like maybe like 50 cents per birthday card generation to make it an amazing birthday card, right? Um, so you can like save it or copy, link copy to clipboard. So if I let's see what this looks like, happy birthday. Okay, and you can see. So what we can do is we will probably just take out this step right here. Yep, and then that's that is what we're gonna copy and share. Okay, pretty cool, very nice, uh, pretty straightforward, right? Um, not too complicated. It keeps it's very nice and simple, which is, which I like. Ghibli image. Okay, this is pretty cool, and this is like a huge trend at one point. Um, so another cool idea is this AI content studio. See right here, a topic or niche would you like to create content about? So I can just put something like digital marketing strategies and my fitness, I would say, um, yeah, premium course on digital marketing. Well, actually let's do um, building AI apps. That's literally what we're doing in this video. Premium course on building AI apps. You guys about to see this live. Generate content ideas. Looks like it is generating the ideas. It'd be cool if they had a little, maybe like a little like um, progress bar so we can know how long, how much longer it's gonna take. Okay, 
So it honestly did not take that long at all, but wow. I built five AI apps in five days. Here's what I learned. Dang, creating five different AI apps in five days. That's fire. This is pretty cool. Okay, so I like these two, first two ones, right? These have tangible numbers. AI, AI app that made 10K in three, 30 days. That is pretty solid. I built five AI apps in five days. Here's what I learned. Ooh, five different apps, just one. Hey, let's do this one. You can create a script for it. Content script. Wow. This, this is actually really good. That was fast. Office intelligence. Okay, this actually has full on script then. What would be really cool is if you can add how long you want the script, like how many words you want it to be. That way you can edit like the, the time of the video. If you want this to be a longer video, have like a longer script. For a shorter video, have a shorter script. This is solid, man. This is, this is pretty cool stuff. Pixel art converter. converter. This has 1,800 views. You can also build on this so we can replicate it, right? Uh, you can choose an image, pick um, your me coding, uh, generate pixel art. Let's see what this comes up with. We got pixel art. Hey, hey, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. I like this. It's like a, like a video game character almost. You can download it. Cool. And you can edit it, compose too. So, oh, wow. Nice. I could, I could literally replace myself with this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like this a lot, actually. Hmm. I think this is the coolest one out of the ones you built. I, the cyberpunk one was pretty cool too, but I like I liked this pixel art thing that we have going on. So now with the pixel art converter, we're going to build on this and basically recreate this and use it as our own and obviously add some touches to make it different, right? So let's go ahead and click that. And we're gonna make it much cooler. And the way we're gonna do that, first of all, we're gonna make it so we can actually get paid with this. I mean, right now it's it's, it's free, right? You can choose your image, generate your pixel art, but what if there's a way to monetize this? And we're gonna put in this prompt, right? And I'm gonna press enter. And ideally, Uwear should be able to make this into a paid usable app. So let's... Let's see how it does that. So we have the to-do list right here and it looks like it knows exactly what needs to be done. So now we just wait for the magic to happen. Wow, look at this. We literally have a paid version of our app now. We get three free conversion on the free tier, but to get more we have to upgrade to premium. That is absolutely nuts. And you can see it was able to do everything that set out to do and it has an explanation of the premium features, what the components are, and how it works as well. So each generation uses one credit unless premium, that makes sense. So yeah, it has a complete freemium model that encourages upgrades while providing value to free users. Pricing set at 10 cents per image as requested. Wow, we can integrate other things further like Stripe, PayPal. This is amazing. Like we turned a free AI app to not a paid AI app, just like that. So now we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to change the look of it and make this look a lot cooler but yeah in case you guys want to make a free app a paid ai app within like one prompt this is how to do it right this is this is a prompt to put and boom you got it but now let's actually change the look of this and make this our own from scratch so now we're going to expand on the template that we are using so this pixel art generator that we found which is pretty dope we can make it better but how exactly are we going to do that so the first thing i decided to do is change the look of it i mean yes i'm using a template but i want my product to look the exact same as another product. So instead of this pink theme that we got going on, I asked you where to design a dark theme, a light blue colored version of this exact app. And this is what it came up with. Pretty cool, pretty simple and cool with just how I like it. Now, the number one thing that a lot of these AI app builders have mistakes in is that when you decide to remix a template and you might maybe change the color of it, sometimes these AI app builders will change other components of the app that you don't want to be changed and it will result in the app breaking. So before we move on and we add additional features or make it look even more different, you want to make sure the app is still working. All the core functionalities are working as expected. So I submitted this picture of myself and generated a pixel art version and it worked successfully. In fact, I think this looks pretty cool. I asked my mentees, my mentorship program, and they thought it was pretty cool too. Now, before we get further, one cool feature is the MCP tool right here, where you can add various agents to assist you in your AI app. You can add a super basic 
Notion-based MCP to make database integration easy. If you use Notion, you can use Notion MCP to work your own Notion table. And there are so many other MCPs you can add. This makes edge function handling, database integration, and authentication flow so much easier to add into your own AI app. However, for our use case, our pixel generated app doesn't really need to integrate with Superbase or these other tools. So we don't really need to rely on these MCPs. However, your app might need Superbase. It might need YouTube, might need Notion. So if that's the case, just use MCP tool to make your AI app that much more versatile. I love seeing AI be used to build AI. Like what a time we are living in. Okay, so now that we know the app works as intended and we change the look of it, here comes a real challenge. We want to make sure that our app has some sort of unique feature that makes it stand out from other apps like it that are out there. So what I decided was instead of having this static pixel generated, why don't we add some sort of animation to our pixelated character, like jumping, talking, walking, whatever. So to do that, I had to code absolutely nothing. Instead, I just wrote three or four English sentences to you where and asked it to build exactly what I was thinking, basically adding a animation button, which will cause your pixelated art to have some sort of jumping animation. And this is what it came up with. Yeah, it actually aired out. But this is very common for most AI app builders. Sometimes when you're adding a more complicated feature, like adding an animation to a pixelated character, which isn't a thing that most software engineers do regularly, even these AI app builders will have some trouble. So sometimes you have to prompt it multiple times, let it know that, hey, don't use this library. Hey, use this library instead. Like in this specific case, it tried using GifShot, which is a GIF generation library, and it just wasn't compatible with the browser. Um, I think there was some like cross origin policy that it was in following, which is why it wasn't working. So I let you wear no by just copying the logs directly from the output into the prompt and you wear itself was able to say like, okay, this is the error. I understand it. Let me go ahead and fix it. And it fixed it perfectly. And this was the final result. Let's go. We got a jumping pixelated version of me. And the cool part is this app literally took me like 40 minutes to build and I can do so much more with it. I'm thinking of adding a nice landing page, a pixelated landing page. I'm adding some authentication with it as well so people can sign up and save their pixelated character and then finally what i'm going to do is i'm going to figure out how can i market this to the mass public so i don't want to bore you with adding super base and making a landing page so we're going to skip to the marketing step how exactly will i make sure that this pixelated app that i created actually is cool how i validate that people actually like it so what i did was i got this pixelated character and actually posted it on my instagram story and i just looked to see how people responded and funny enough i actually got a dm from a fellow creator saying yo i need this exact thing so this right here, a big creator with thousands of followers hitting me up saying, yo, I need this exact thing is enough justification for me to be like, okay, let me actually keep progressing with this app and seeing how much better I can make it because there are people that exist that are willing to buy this. And in fact, if you're able to get a creator to be with your app and say, yo, this is cool, then you can even have them be your new marketer. You can turn that creator into a marketer, give them a nice deal saying, hey, I'll give you 50% off if you can advertise my app to your audience. And that is a great way of you getting free marketing for your product. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see how high I can take my new Pixlr 2.0 app. If you want to follow along for the journey, be sure to subscribe. If you want to use Uware for yourself, check the first link in the description below. To see me create an AI app game using Uware, watch this video next.